This is a short introduction of the story of David Vernon Rodder, who was a prisoner of war of the Japanese during the period 1942 to 45. Uh, this introduction will be followed by an interview which was done with him uh, by Ken and Jonathan Fraser. His uncle, Don Fraser, uh, died, was a friend of David uh, Rodders and died on the, uh, in, in Japan in 1940, I'm not quite sure, 44 or 45. Uh, David Rodder has produced, uh, did write a diary and he's produced a short um, account of his experiences and that will be shown on my website www.powsofjapan.net. Now David Rodder enlisted in the AIF in September 1941 and uh, then uh, in January 1942 he was he, well, in fact, prior to that, he had put on a, been placed on a vessel called the Morella, uh, which had travelled uh, up the east coast of Australia to, to Darwin. And in Darwin, the vessel had been diverted across to Port Moresby. In Port Moresby, he changed to another vessel called the Aquitania, and that vessel uh, went around the, uh, the shores of Australia in a southerly direction to Fremantle and then moved into Singapore, not actually uh, going into Singapore Harbour but discharging their passengers into lighters and he went into Singapore very late in January 1942. He uh, then went up, uh, well the, the causeway was blown between Singapore and Malaya on 31 January 1942 and on the 15th of February 1942, along with thousands of others, uh, David became a prisoner of war. In May 1942, he was uh, amongst, among a group of, uh, of Australians who were put onto two vessels, one of which was the Toyohashi Maru, and they were moved from Singapore to uh, Burma uh, by uh, an unusual route. They went across to Sumatra earlier to Medan and then they stopped at two ports on the Burma coast, Victoria Point, Mugui and finally at Tavoy. Uh, he was uh, unloaded at Tavoy and uh, forced to work on an airfield there. Uh, then uh, later in that year, about October 1942, with many others, he was moved to a place called Tumbazite and they commenced construction of the Burma Thailand Railway from the northern end. Uh, whilst he was on the northern end, he was employed in slave duties as many of the other POWs were and he was able to observe the work of people like uh, Dr. Rowley Richards, who is still alive in 2011 and Captain Bill Droward, the only Britisher who had left Singapore with this party. Uh, in October 1942 the railway was finished and they were sh the bulk of the force was shifted down to, Sing to uh, Thailand as uh, David was. Uh, he was then uh, chosen to be what they call a, part of, a member of the Japan Party and moved to Saigon. That port was blockaded and they were unable to, uh, to get their vessels out. So the entire group were moved down to Singapore, once again from Saigon across to Phnom Penh to Bangkok and by railway right into Singapore. In December 1944, he boarded a vessel called the Awa Maru to be moved to Japan. Uh, that was a very, very fast vessel, well, one of the fastest vessels, and I think the, the journey to Japan was achieved in about 14 days, which is in stark contrast to at least one of the vessels, which took 70 days. But that is another story. When he arrived in uh, Japan, he was uh, put into a Muta Camp 17 and uh, he was in a Muta Camp 17 when the war 
concluded post-war. Uh, David uh, studied medicine uh, uh, over the period 1947 to 51 and graduated as a doctor. And as I understand it, he spent some of his time as a missionary doctor in Tanzania. I will stop now, but we will swing over and I will expose some uh, maps to give you some idea of the route that he took uh, during his journey as a prisoner of war. Uh, David enlisted from uh, Victoria, Melbourne, and uh, boarded the Morella. The Morella had sailed right across as far as Darwin up here when uh, there were a change of circumstances and I'll just switch to another page. At this stage he changed a vessel and shifted from Darwin across to Port Moresby which is there. Uh, this vessel they were on was called the Aquitania. It then sailed down the east coast of Australia stopping in Brisbane, probably Brisbane and New South Wales and eventually it stopped in Perth. From there it moved forward to get to move to uh, Singapore and uh, which is the right there uh, but the Aquitania didn't go in there they were discharged to Lata's and then moved into there he was in uh, that was where he was captured later he was uh, shifted on the Toyohashi Maru from Singapore across to Medan on Sumatra here and then uh, across to Victoria Park Point, Tavoy, Magui in uh, Burma uh, and he commenced work on the Burma Thailand Railway. From there uh, he was shifted into Bangkok in this area here and across as far as Saigon right here. Uh, they were blockaded, they moved back to Singapore like so and then by a vessel, the Awa Maru, moved through to Japan here, to the southern island of Japan. Um, and uh, that is where he became incarcerated uh, at Amuta Camp 17. Now just one more image. And that is, this is the roll which would, had been maintained of the, the POWs in... Uh, in Amuta Camp 17 and there is David's name right there. This role was maintained by Roy Whitecross and he has in it 1,992 POWs who were in that camp. Amuta Camp 17 uh, was basically over a coal mine and that's where much of the work was done by the POWs. And that uh, will now listen to some of the um, of, of uh, David's own experiences in re as a result of an interview by Jonathan and Ken. Copy. And see, I put um, the end of uh, my my copy. I put yep. that picture because that's the that's the oh, lovely. That's a that's an original photo. Yeah, yeah. But that's that's this one. Yeah. So that was the. This is the. Um, the your rel it was, Who was it? Your father was it? My father would have taken that. Taken that. Violet, violet, violet town. town yeah. We went up on our motorcycle. Yeah. And uh, I remember that uh, it was quite a trip because going back, I had a lot of trouble with both. You both you on, on uh, to go on to uh, shift to work, and we were both, we were both late. Yeah. We both sent the excuse that we worked well. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> So uh, when you were back at work, the supervisor, the, the chap in charge, was, it's a bit of a coincidence, you two both not to <laughs> <laughs> He was a nice man, but yeah. uh, he didn't go into it. Yeah. <laughs> he would have known, probably. But um, we messed, messed around, but then I had trouble with my motorcycle. Don <laughs> did a lot of working on that. And we're coming back after that on the way to work. We were doing a night shift, and... Uh, he had an accident on uh, coming, he could cut through the botanic, the uh, uh, Upper Park Lake, yeah. there, and coming out of it, there was a tram there, and he, I, I was on ahead of it, I didn't realise what had happened, I got to work and he 
didn't turn up and then they, I went out to look for him and couldn't find him. And I got back and they said that the uh, chap in charge there said, oh, he's in hospital. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So I said, it wasn't bad. He's no, no, so it wasn't, uh, the police got hold of that. That's why it wasn't too bad. He, mm -hmm. he, he just slid and... Slid on the tram tracks or something? Yeah, well, I think the tram was coming and he must have tried to avoid it. And, uh, I'll just leave that there for a minute. Oh, I think so. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, uh, oh, there's a lot of, you know, bits and things. Like that. But I'll, the, uh, I'll just get the trolley. Yeah, so we, we joined up. Um, I don't know really how much the copy is disjointed, but. Um, and then we. And you notice then there are VX numbers. Yes. Yeah. Mm. About four letters. Mm. I can't remember exactly how it happened. I know you're going to the town hall in, in Melbourne, where the recruiting place was. So he must have been just after me, I think. Mm. <laughs> a number. And uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll just. That's lovely. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. We both went out to Royal Park, which is the camp then. Yeah. And then uh, they wanted. Uh, then they were doing a selection, and um, we, we both put into the signals. Mm -hmm. And uh, so... Because um, you both worked at AWA, is that right? Yeah, so, mm. yeah that's how we... Met mm. he, he had been there a while, and he was the more, more senior. I, I, you go in and you're a bundler, you're just sorting out the message and putting filing in. And, uh, and you have to do shift work with the pain. Mm. Where was it based? Where was AWA at the it time? It was in Queen Street, up the uh, Burke, Burke Street towards Spencer Street, mm. and the bit I turned to the right, it's to an AWA building, and they had the beam wireless there. I know where that would have been. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. We worked in a bit, uh, the government took it over, the uh, telecommunications yeah. or something like that. Mm. But during the war, they, they the beam wireless that had a big uh, transmitting station out of, out of Melbourne from there and uh, they beamed it to London and to Montreal and, and they were the two main places somewhere else I think. And then the, of course if, if conditions weren't good they, they just couldn't do anything. If, if there was a bad they'd send it they put it in on tape and they mm. they'd put it through twice and they didn't put it three times. And then if that wasn't good enough, they just closed down to the wall. Nothing would be happening at all. Mm. <laughs> if you're a night shift, you could try and get a Well, you would have been using, you know, what was, was considered then as state-of-the-art electronics oh, yeah, at the time. Yeah. And they were all doing the radio, radio operators, for the wireless operators for them, mm. for us, and uh, to... Um, mm. Mostly, most of the chaps were interested in radio, that's why they were there. Mm. They didn't get much radio. Mm. But the course was quite good, but it included Morse code. Yep. And Don had done more, he, he was up to about 20 words a minute. Okay. I got up to about 15. Mm. So when we went to, um, in Malaya, um, arrived 24th of January, mm. was, and, uh, so we went to cross the causeway and went to Jaworoo, mm. which is my layer then. And um, he was put into A Company mm. and I was put into D Company, so we were separated mm. then. And that was because they would have needed a, a wireless operator in he each was, of those? He was more, and he was put out, he was actually in the front line more. Mm. I remember him saying once the um, chap that he was shot to the wrong side of him, you know, it was a bit of a job for him. Mm. But I didn't see much of him there because we were in separate companies and we, whether we could have done anything, he suggested and I, my young, being young and foolish, mm. <laughs> sort of just took things as they came. And then we were, I was put into um, A-Force and so we were sent up to Verma and Don was, mm. wasn't in, mm. in that. So then later on, of course, he was in another lot that went to Japan. Mm, yeah. 
I'm not, I'm not sure what that was called. But no, I've got that detail, yes. So there yeah. were 300 of them uh, mm. in that talk. Ken's got quite a lot of little telegrams that um, Don mentions you in the in the telegram. Oh, when when we sent word home, yeah, I didn't mention him because we we were we were separated mm. and uh, the chaps we were with, the four of us got mm. we worked together quite a bit and we were two older ones. Yeah, and the uh, Bert and mine were the younger ones. We had eighteen and that. Yeah, yeah, when we said we sent a card home, mm. so I've got, you know, sent a card to say, I've got yeah, I am well or not yes. well, and um, yeah. you, something or other, a few things, and then you could leave, mm. send a brief message, but we, mm. we always said everything was all right. Yes. Yeah. That's you didn't want to worry people at home. But I, I, I said, I am fine. with Bert Barrett. Mm. So, um, That's very nice. So Thank you. gave an address. That so is, I'm my sorry, card got no, there. No, no, I'm not better mm. organised. Yeah. No. His people know, his card got there and mine didn't. Mm. But I've got very, the Red Cross did various things. Mm. You probably not know of that. We got the impression from the um, ones that Don had sent home that you would have been under the uh, under the uh, misapprehension that the war had actually been won by the Japanese. And, and uh, we got the impression that it seemed like I'd... Uh, We've, Don said we've, uh, Dave and I survived the war. So, John is in Croydon. I stayed there last night. Yeah, the impression I get from what Don said was that he thought the war had ended once you'd been captured, that the Japanese must have told you, oh, you know, you know Australia's finished. But where did you get that information? It's in one of his little, um, one of his little cards to home. Oh. So, Dave, do you want a drink or something? No, thanks. Have you got that, Ken? What's that, John? Oh, the one where Don says that he thought, that, you know, he said that um, Dave and him had survived the war. Uh, it says survived the war, yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll show you. Yeah. yeah, well, that's interesting. I had him. Where's that one? I've got a. Uh, John, do you want me to. My room's a bit uh, small. To that's all right. Things that I'll hold that. If I can. There's, and I've got things, the Red Cross things copies of those mm. that they sent. Anything they, they received, I have got hold of. Mm. So it's sort of a lot of bits and pieces. Are you ended up in the Naetsu camp yourself, is that right? The if that's the name of the camp, yeah. I, 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 didn't, uh, I didn't think of the name. Mm. See, these, these, are, uh, these are cards that got home. Yeah. For example, you probably I survived. See, uh, mm. So this is your brother? This is talking about. Um, this is our uncle. This, this is our uncle. Oh. So my da our dad's John's brother. Not, mm. not talking about David. It is. Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh, this, and this and this this is. This is one from Burma. Oh okay. See, I, I mm. was written that. And that's the that's the sort of thing we. We sent about three mm. of those yes. over the years. And then he survived. Well, three, three what years. he means is the war, I think, is the um, mm. is the, the battle at so Singapore. They, they're all from the uh, well, one was so two from the him, obviously, in Thailand. I think in his situation, that was the war. He can perhaps even the, mm. the, the, the so, uh, Japanese would tell him, know, oh, the war's <laughs> over. Yeah. I think Australia I said, finished. Yeah. 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 They never realised it. Please don't worry. Although David said, they always thought that it was three months. That was a card. That's youth, isn't it? Yeah. That and was the, the letters, and then the, mm. the Red Cross were sending, or the army sent something every now and then. Mm. Oh, so you've saved it. Yes, I've so got from a few different family members. Um, so this is him. We assume this, these were photos that. were taken in Singapore. Officially missing. David might be able to recognise mm. who that but other person is. We are enough in a way. Mm. Yeah. 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 Well, he's had 21. To, to keep a bit of a sense of the humour. Father, yes. It, it's it's actually in the this in his diary, it's, which is mostly about food. It's the, the small I elements of humanity where he's wishing he had a friend. You know, was just Fraser. loafing at home, reading a book, or having oh, spaghetti on toast. That was <laughs> oh, yeah. something that was mm. passed on. This is from the inquiry. Oh, 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 D. Fraser. Mm. Right. Inquiry. And then inquiry from Victoria. This, this was at where? This at, was on, at on the ship. Uh, ADV. From Australia to Singapore. 
Oh, I have a look at that one. <laughs> it's sort of a bit of a. It's hard to read off Trent's I haven't really thought them. Oh, yes. Um, it is. Anyway, you have a nice hand, Yes. Um, uh, the Red Cross so are quite you good. Are younger mm. or nice. Your surname is Rodder. Right. What's, what's, that? what's the background of it? Is that an English name or is Cornish? I'm a nephew, so he never married. He was, doing he was only 20, well, no, 23. I'd love to go one day, but... Yeah, well, we thought it was too uh, late now. So, yeah, he was... And he was, You've been? He was very much the baby. My father was like... He was quite a big family. Mm -hmm. Dad, um, and Dad was the third... And, and who was the missionary um, society you were with? Um, the Church Missionary Society. Yeah, he was the Dad was second youngest. So, we I... So, you So, yes, so... Dad had three Plus brothers away. Enthusiastic um, about the war, traveling so he lost, lost two brothers. Mm. And uh, the second war, mm. so one in the Navy. When was going to go to England? One stage we sort of... Uh, he was on the other brother was on the HMAS Yarra. But then the family, which was sunk. They came into it. Yeah, just... That was very expensive then, doesn't it? Yeah. We could have afforded at that stage. That brother had been... Professional in the Navy, he'd been in since 1922, so that was his work. He was in his 30s. So, you, did you grow up in Violet Town? Is that your home? Is that your hometown? Yeah, it was at that stage. Right. Japan into the war, and they'd actually been into Singapore, and they were taking convoys of troops. They actually rescued a sinking liner. 2000 people off the liner, which they all rescued. 13, 14, 14, when we unfortunately, they met a large mm. Japanese force. Those were boarding school and those people, and I had no grandma. Mm. So there was only 13 so, survivors. David ended up early years in Chiltern. And then we moved to Broadway. Right. And then we were fathers of the clergyman. He was posted. So your father was a clergyman? Yeah. So we'll have a short break, though. That's not bad. Be too polite. <laughs> so well, coming, my, from, coming from a big family. My uh, Scottish background would enjoy the uh, short uh, bread. Uh, someone like Neil, he's got a stack of information. Mm. 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 There's a lot on who's the, the, who's the that? Who's 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 that? Mm. We, we so share them between us. Mm. Mm. So mm. one day you haven't heard his name yet. Yes, yeah, we were good. We were very, very friendly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. um, it's good in it. So Peter Wynne Stanley was in the army reserve. Mm. Yes. 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 It is. And my son was in the regular army. So they knew each other? No. Just a when I, I mentioned, they, they communicated with them. Right. <laughs> okay. This fellow. Mm. Yeah. But it's then, I mean, they did not mm. have a kid. That's mm. just a mutual yes. yes. interest. He would very likely have written before this. Mm. I can't right. imagine him just suddenly starting yeah. like that. Uh, that's what I've assumed, that he would have at least said, oh, this is what had happened up to that point yeah. and how he got to yeah. Japan. He's just got a ledger in the back of it um, right. so with his pay and... Um, no, obviously they, you know, they gave them a few little little um, oh. items. Um, yeah. It's got fruit there. Oh, I mm. see. Yes, yeah, so well, that's interesting. They did. We usually get paid a different if you were working in the camp. You got paid, and then on the on the line, we got a we got a little bit, but it was very little. Um, because they printed their all their own money, mm. and, that, <laughs> and that wasn't wasn't mm. worth a lot. But it was something. I mean, even if you could buy a banana or an egg, yeah. you know, it was mm. something. So you, uh, he talks about that daikon turnip. Do you remember eating a bit of that? The daikon, I think. It's a radish. It's like a radish, oh, you know, a white, no, I don't a white know radish. This is, see, this was in um, uh, 150. Now, that would have been Japanese, was some um, yen. Would it be one yen? 
our, um, our sister-in-law speaks Japanese, so yeah. I should get her to translate that, um, yeah. that text. Um, I can't see up top, it doesn't say. Okay. Balance 85, not there. We started this one. So how, how yeah. did that happen? Uh, that she spoke, speaks no, Japanese. No, 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 no. But some, some of the, the uh, some of them no, no, uh, made uh, quite extensive she diaries, she just studied it and, and they had to be very that. careful hiding it. Mm -hmm. yeah. I but think they must have been hidden that diary. I think they would have been yes. under you, yeah. you penalty you of uh, some pretty harsh punishment. Mm -hmm. Yes, well, that's no, I'm, I'm uh, I, I, the government. I don't uh, think so. Mm. But it's got a Japanese stamp in front. Yes, unless it was a book the Japanese sold at the cantina. Got hold of it, but um, there were various ways of getting hold of things, of course, um, which weren't official. Um, Is there a lot of corruption, oh, a lot of corruption there amongst the Japanese it. themselves? Oh, or? I don't know, but uh, very we, nice. she uh, she, they built as prisoners, house, yeah. most of us were always on the lookout. Three children, sort of. <laughs> well, you do not take your glasses off. Oh, yeah. 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 But um, they, 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 you sort of were geared to scrounging or... Picking no, up. I, I had things, I have no idea now how I got them, mm. but, but you, anything you could, if you were out working, you'd, uh, had much you had to be careful, yeah, I mean, I had, the one caught, north I had to fill up the water bottle with rice, cook back in camp, but it's considered they turned on a search down the mine, and now they were working business in Singapore, and they're there again. Sandy points and I, you know, I pull out my pockets you know, like this, I got nothing. And you know, when we were driving down with, there, and I came around the back, the scrub, and I had my um, water bottle right there on the back, mm. and he happened to I knock it, I think, oh, and he must have been suspicious. Know, to it, I turned around and pulled <laughs> that cork out, and of course, mm. there was rice right up to the top. Mm. <laughs> what did he do then? So I was out in the front and got a got a stick and a few few wits, you know, hit with a stick, and he would have kept the rice. Would he? Oh yes, tipped all. I didn't get that. His his container. Yeah. But back at camp, we lined up, another search by the camp guards, and uh, they caught what, s s two or three others, and they had to stand outside the guardhouse all night. So <laughs> if I'd been caught, I, you know, I, would, I spared that, but that was the only time I was caught trying to get something in, but when at that time we, I brought a lot of cloth in, and uh, the British lot tents and they were lined with a blue mm. cloth and we'd tear this out and uh, bring it back to camp and then I used to stitch, I did a lot of sewing mm. and you get the thread by unravelling cloth and then I don't know where, I, I got the needles somewhere, I, of course we had some needles when we'd take the prisoners, mm. everyone had a, uh, what do they call it, a little, what do you call a little thing with needles and cotton and Little sewing kit, is yeah. it? Yeah. But it had a name. Um, anyway, it was, it had stuff in, I would have had that. And if there was any other way of getting needles, I would have got it. So I, I, and then we, then you wear, I stitched them up, they were only all hand stitched. <laughs> and, uh, and then I would put them on underneath my ordinary shorts and go out and then get them off. And then we, uh, when the guards weren't around, sell them to the local folk and you hang up and say how much, you know, and the, uh, um, what were they? Yeah, or? The, the could have been rupees. No, it was, it was um, Singapore <laughs> money then. Okay. Could have been dollars anyway, whatever it was, you could get up and decide. Of course, they could have, couldn't Does have it a ring it? Couldn't have a closer mm -hmm. look at them, so then they'd hand, you know, hand over the money and give them the shorts. Mm. And um, uh, so I spent, I don't know how many pairs I made, but it was uh, time consuming, mm. stitching on. But with, uh, that was one way, and, and there were several, four of us worked together quite a bit mm. at that stage, and we shared everything. Mm. That was Burton's, um, Stan and Roy were the older mm. ones. Their pictures are in there. And this is in, um, this is in, in This was in, back in, in Singapore. Singapore. And then, well, first of all, it started up in Thailand, or in Burma we started, and then we got, I got separated because I went back to the, to the hospital camp. And they went through the line, and, and we finished up in Thailand and together. But then the 
uh, Rob, um, um, Stan and Bert were put picked in the Japan party, and then they Roy and I volunteered because they had gone. Yeah. But we were in a later section, and uh, so the Japan party moved in two lots, and and the first lot went up to up to Saigon. Mm. We followed on. Another cup of tea. And they couldn't get us away from Saigon because the American submarines were sinking, uh, sinking the Japanese shipping. Yeah. So they took us all the way back to Singapore. Mm. They take this. And uh, then they they went off in September, um, nine, 1944, mm. in a big, big convoy in Japan, and the, the American submarines got amongst them and sunk mm. them, sunk a lot of the ships. Just sort of ran one yeah. thing leading to another, but flying yeah. back to Scotland. I think we were switched that off. I mean, that's enough, isn't it? Oh, no, the diary was later than that. No, it? no, it, it starts, it actually starts oh. about that period, yeah. I'm just checking my. Um, yeah, you, you've given a certain. So, did you have any contact with you? Well, there words you could yeah, use or something like that. There was limitations on what you could write. And these are those cards similar to yours. There's, yeah. there actually, there's one from the family to him that mentions that they've spoken to your mother. Oh. Oh. Yes, these, are, these are from Don. Now, they, they wrote over, he was able to write a lot more than we were. We were very, you can see the, the cards are very, very limited. Mm. It sounds like not many got through the other way. Um, and I think he just reckons that, he's got four, three. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you see here. Oh, here you are. This is from this is from our grandmother. So it mentions. Oh. Here it says, yeah, Mrs. Rodder called and David as well. My wife and I spent two and a half years on the do loss the Christian bullshit. So it's actually after. Uh, that's actually uh, after he died. Yeah, it's now not So it shows you how the net communication was limited. Two and a half well, so I did a lot of, so lot of things that were a bit the rough. Uh, the, uh, we all the Red Cross uh, parcels and food. Um, I mean, we had, a, uh, we had two or three issues. We wouldn't have had... In, mm -hmm. in Europe, apparently, they roughly yeah, yeah, a right, box yes, a month per person. Mm. And I doubt if over all the time in the boxes I wouldn't have actually had a whole box that, because we might have six or seven to a box and we only had two or three issues. So I'd be lucky to have had half a box in that time when mm. they... So the, the, the Jap there were stacks of Red Cross boxes mm. after the war and they, they just didn't give them out. Are you all tall fellows in your family? Or? Uh, yeah. oh. Six foot or something. I'm the shortest. <laughs> That's this is actually some of his notes, and I meant to, I've left them back at John's, and I actually had had his things from the Marconi School of Wireless. His old oh, yes. um, notes. Yeah. Uh, I don't but know. This is obviously it. some of his uh, yeah. his notes it, from. You had the course you were mm. doing, and you had to send in your papers. Yeah, so it's like a correspondence. And, uh, I'd course, started obviously. that, and I was doing because I'd done a lot of school and physics. It was, you know, it wasn't the word. Um, but he was ahead of me, and uh, so he, he was about two years older than you, I think. Yes. Was he? He'd been doing it for a while. Oh, that was just some. Uh, yeah. I don't. Did you see the photos? There's a couple that look like they're taken probably in Singapore. Um, here we are. Oh yeah. Yeah. Do you know who the other chap would be, or that 
recognise them at all. Uh, now there's, there's no dating on them. Though. He's got a big cap on him. Yes. You're having a rest. Yeah. Is that your done, is it? Is that your work? This was our... Yeah. It's interesting the how he would have got those. Well, that's what I was thinking because cameras, I mean, there's the famous Tangy photographer. But, um, that would have been before that, business, That's what I'm assuming. Yeah. Um, because cameras would have all been confiscated. Yeah. Yeah. I just thought it'd be interesting mm. if you were doing genealogy. Nothing on the back of them. It's it's nice nice, it's no. it, and, and of course, I mean, in Japan they were in freezing conditions. So yeah. I've seen the photos that they it's, did take photos in Japan of the prisoners. But, but um, the, these were these no, sent back with his diary. Well, yeah. This was I, what I've done is assembled. Uh, no, these didn't, and I don't know how we got them. Well, I've assembled from the several different Inzang family Inzang. members things that were stuck yes. in tins. Yes. You know how people, <laughs> yeah. you know, and, and with no history to them. So, so they, they might have come from in his name. Um, yes. Yeah, we have somewhere else. But, but yes, recent, the the likely Romanian thing is he didn't have these. Remain with him. not with the Y. But these may have been uh, sent back with other Japan, names. That's so right. That's what I would think. It doesn't look like Japan. Well, I carried photographs right through. It might be that's that's from the menu from the ship you went over to Singapore in. That was was quite an experience. We were ordinary passengers up till we got to Darwin. So he's just like he sent a note to. To his mother, <laughs> saying, oh, "No, that's the Morella." Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, what, what was the name of the vessel? What was it the, the Morella? Morella. Mm. Yeah, I got. I. It was a. Mm. Uh, had been a, a German ship, which the, um, the the Allies got yeah. during the last from the last mm. World War. Brian. It turned into a patch. There was some of the yeah. fittings, the um, taps and things that had German. Oh yes, very German on it too. Uh, yeah, no, we're German writer, mm. as we come and, uh, to the end of our own mm. life. German, but um, yeah, then, I don't, I don't uh, we were ordinary passengers, we know, we had right. bunks and made sheets, and, and then got a lot of detail in it, but uh, as we're got going got up past... Um, because mm. I, want to be uh, I don't know, you know about, about the trip? Oh, I've traced it in a sense, so obviously you went to Brisbane and... My is on the I've seen that, yes. But have mm. you got a, I don't know whether you want a copy of that or mm. yeah, you can, can get a copy or... That'd be good, yeah. The, um, the thing is, so, uh, um, if I... When the Diamond Bell and you go around that area, did they? I don't think I've got a, they, another copy. Yes, when they settled in Australia. Uh, let's have a look. So you did leave from Sydney or from Melbourne? We left from Melbourne, yes. But what I said in my diary, all the way up to Singapore would be some quite interesting uh, diaries by the Don. My mother's side. Yes, we were to get all the way up. Mm -hmm. And, and I remember on the, when we transferred in Sunda Straits, transferred into Dutch folks and smaller ones. We were on the campaigning before that, and they didn't want to take it up to Singapore because the Japanese were bombing Singapore one day. And I remember we were travelling together then. Oh, okay. It wasn't until we got to Malaya yeah. oh, that we were we separated like because he went into a different company. Um, but we, uh, I, I think, I, I, I'll see if I've got, got a copy. Um, I, I should have sorted all this out. No, no, <laughs> you, you might be just interested in that one, uh, obviously a reference letter from, uh, from AWA. There, yeah. Oh, Well, he, you know, know he, he would have been a good conscientious no, worker. Very against yeah. mm -hmm. stuff oh, yes, well, Handling I the unforeseen volume of traffic occasioned no, by the free the social messages. Many of them would be pretty staunch Christians. Mm. And, uh, yes, I don't remember doing oh, seeing much of them. Teetotalists too. Mm. They learned quite a bit of history around Eltham, around that that way. Mm. But their old farm that they had. <laughs> the next day's research leave. is <laughs> your next annual. I don't know if you ever drive out under that way, but I should drive on to research. Yeah, Mr. Pole was the um, mm. our media. There's a big mm. um, He's upstairs and big he's a nice chap. Mm. You know, 
yeah. 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 and uh, it goes right across the road, you yeah. can't miss it. Yeah. And it goes right through the It's because so I don't remember mm. a lot of Cause my mum's side that, had a that lot sort of traffic. I can Valley area as well. I was I was down the bottom of the scale, and, yeah. but I remember the, uh, the other interesting thing is the there's a lot of press messages straight in AAP, straight in Associated Press, and they were the body, and they supplied various newspapers. So messages come through to them. <coughs> but we had, they, part of my job was all the Kellys, when it came through and they'd be typed out, chaps doing and have this, um, typing them out from quite, the know, horse you know, you know, tape. The and then I would have to take them up to the sensor upstairs. Of course, I didn't do it, but one of the other chaps who was telling me after I met him, it was much the same time. He, uh, he said have a, have a, he'd have a bit of a look at them upstairs and then he'd the the come down and he could see what the sensor is. Yeah. Yeah. Nice so <laughs> that was unofficial. Nice but before we started work there, we were sworn in to do an affidavit or something, you know, swear that you're secrecy. Everybody you to secrecy. You didn't divulge anything you saw. I never came to me anything much. Oh, that's yeah, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I, uh, I used to swap brother. ships so, um, so I could get, the one time I got a, a whole week, I got a week's holiday, which normally we worked six days and had a week or a day off. So by swapping six days, six days, I was able to get a whole week off. But then the catch was then I had to work for six weeks and had a day off. Be yeah, okay, boy. Yeah, yeah. Some of the jobs I, where I swapped, uh, the chaps were swapped, so were a bit above. Like I, was thinking, I remember doing one uncle, one job, the, um, checking off messages, and a chap who was senior to me, and he was doing a, uh, I, I was really tucked ahead, and I was doing a senior. He said, well, you know. Suggested he should do so that, and I did. Very, very the best thing I said, no, I can't do it. <laughs> 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 but anyway, he no, couldn't no, do anything about it because it's no, changed software with this chap and it's been approved. He had to put this bit of application in with the initial. Then, of course, when you had to sign on when you came in, so it was all checked up. But it was quite a. I, I was very irresponsible in those days. <laughs> I don't think so. No, it's sort of just no, I can't stand on as much more. Being much yes. more mature and sensible with really. Well, I don't know if there was an actual marriage. <laughs> so he put up with me. You know, <laughs> I, 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 I shouldn't tell you all these things. No, it's it's on the ship over, I was there with Morella downstairs in the evening. They'd set up these gambling things. Crown and Ink, I didn't know that one various other ones. Yeah, grandmother, so Don's one game. Mother. And I reckon uh, if I put some money on, I doubled so up every time. I couldn't lose. And the pennies again, you double up and tuppence. And you should soon mount it up. I'd love to be able to find that. Unless you had enough money, you couldn't double. So, uh, and I, so I lost all my money, and then I told Don, I said, look, I got this system, but I didn't have enough money. So he let me use his, his and I lost his. <laughs> and I've never gambled since. <laughs> Occasionally I've had to go into a raffle and my arm twisted, but I, even a raffle, I said, no, I've finished it. <laughs> and being a Christian, of course, you know, it's sort of, it, it was, but I learned my lesson the hard way, and of course, boy, Don lost but money wasn't much use to us anyway. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, well, he was in, um, oh, there's a, some of them got stacks of money in Singapore and they were burning it. <laughs> and they, they were having poker games and uh, um, but some of it could have been useful, but mm. it wasn't. Uh, uh, there, there's some funny I things going on. Um, so when, when you were, when you were captured in Singapore, you weren't actually initially in the Changi prison itself. Was that, that's correct? You were, it was like a, an, an area oh, yeah, outside? Yeah, it was Changi. Changi prison was a uh, civilian mm. prison. But the Changi barracks, yeah. where the airfield is now apparently, 
and it was quite a big, big just, barracks. Just and see, where well, most of the prisoners went out there, there were about 60,000. We were in one section. I didn't hear what was who had it before us. But it was quite a, a nice building with um, two story and um, concrete thing and a uh, playground in the front. And all the signals were, that was a lot of somebody and so that they allocated really them all. Taken by it and we, we went out to, uh, in the, in the from the Botanical Gardens, we were there for a couple of days, we, we marched out. And, really and um, so just on our own steam, you know, we, I, I, I don't think, I don't know, remember any guards. The mm. There were MPs on the so way, yeah, directing traffic and very frustrated for a long time because it but uh, we struggled into seeing, I, I remember stopping somewhere on the way at blisters and I hadn't done that, 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 that much route marching. Mm. It was 18 miles then, suddenly I didn't do that. Right. I can't remember seeing Don at that stage. Mm. And then uh, we got out there and got Max at the, the Apple next day, Apple Max at home. Mm -hmm. it showed where we were and I managed to get this place out and a bit of a balcony so taken oh, out. And he no, wants to get your spot. You <laughs> said learn to, to, to get a good spot. Anyway, some of the train travelling, you know, you get, you know, you get, you know, you get near the near the, the door. So you get you right at the inside. You, you get pretty stuffy. Mm. And the, the guard always. There's one always had one guard at the door. The trains. But um, we didn't you see didn't much. And in Changi, there was a, a film uh, thing on the ABC put it on called Changi. Yes. And that was terrible. But, and uh, really, a few, there was a few places I, I could have written in. Them. It, was, it was absolutely, it was an insult to the prisoners. It was completely inaccurate. Mm. The whole setting up was quite... Stupid. Yeah, I, I think they, some of them got, you know, and the over the I don't think they've gone again. You know, I so watched, I got to the third episode and I couldn't watch it anymore. Mm. The whole yeah, setup in the game, they had the prisoners world. one side and the Japanese quarters the other. Mm. Changi, oh, yes. we had a, a, a fence around Changi, which was just and a bamboo pole to mark it. We weren't allowed outside that. Perhaps did go out, but you had to not be caught. I mind being back on the busy road. The guards uh, had an entrance. The guards were there. We, I don't, can't remember seeing a Japanese in the camp. They just when we went there. We, we did have to parade one. No, I, think we, I can't remember. Okay. When we went out on a working party, oh, we'd go oh, through. Yeah. You know, we'd pick up a guard and then they'd come with us. Mm. I can't remember seeing a Japanese in the camp. They may have driven through, you know, just inspecting. Yes, well, Graham, Graham lives Graham was over in East Brunswick, so we see um, more than the other. Okay. But this showed the officers living, you know, yes. the other, um, and, and, and the prisoners were there. Yeah. Now, one was said April yeah, 1942, yeah. and I was there well, in April 1942. Mm. They had the fair doubles in dirty looking signals. Um, and the oh, Japanese there, and this, and then, and then oh, your daughter's had cancer. You know, the, everyone was well dressed that day. We had mm. uh, you know, plenty of clothing, mm. you know, well, and you expected to be dressed. You had your, no, your, your soldiers. Your, mm. Yeah, and, and, and we one time, Colonel Cappy was the oh, signals. He got us all on parade, yeah, and he had all this lined around here, and he said, "Signals." Forty-two. Ten shun, you know, so we were all was yeah. stupid, really. But uh, yeah. he, mm. I so met him after the war. So you know, mm. uh, when I was a medical I officer, the, the, the Alfred doing the first year, yeah. part of the, the, the program I chose meant a month up at Bacapanyo, which is a medical officer. So I went up there and I became a captain overnight. Well, he'd be, he'd be uh, clothing store, he Q yeah, store, and he said, so he, he, you're an officer and a gentleman, he said, <laughs> tug and cheek, I used <laughs> anyway, I, I had to hardly learn to salute, you know, you similar age, didn't you? I was terrified yeah, that I had to salute the right time, some chaps were walking by and chap put his hand up and I think he was scratching the back of his neck, so I gave him a salute, 
<laughs> anyway, I had to parade before. Colonel Cappy was the um, he was brigadier then. That's in charge of the camp, oh, and yeah. I had the parade before him, so I just drilled how to walk up and salute him. And then he'd come and sit, and sit down, and take off the cap, and, and going out, he'd come one back one. and stand at attention and salute him. This is all very new. I've been four years in the army, you know. <laughs> so it's it was how ridiculous it all was. But um, yes, anyway, mm. I must remember a lot. <laughs> Lovely food. I guess the food there, like initially, the was there yeah. in, in Singapore. Oh, it was in, in Changi. Yeah. Oh, it, was, it was lean. Yeah. The first day, two or three days, yeah, we had it. Black, you might get a biscuit and a bit of jam on it. Mm. Black. And uh, brown, then once we started so to get some yeah. rations of rice, and we had a ration of rice and a little bit else because they said we, we bought food, tin food out with us and they, everything had to be handed in. And I don't know. And then in the, in the signals at the end of the hut there were a, a sergeant and a corporal who sort of organised the food. Well they sent out um, I think it must but have been they were doing a swifty because they dishing out the rice. There were four kitchens. Centenary or something. The kitchen they went they to. Sent someone out to uh, they worked they out to produce the food. They filled a kerosene tin or something with a certain measure to each one. And the fact that there was more than that left over went they the went to their kitchen the until the taps observed that they were yeah. seemed to be getting a lot more rice. Yeah. So then there was a complaint and then they had to divide it up. There's Serengeti, but there are not many game no, parks. Yeah, they mm -hmm. seem to be regional chaps, but they were the game yeah. Yeah. strictly the speaking, you know, they yes. didn't so want to lie. That's Helen when she was so in hospital. We were just hungry, you know. That's what you notice from Don's diary. It's nearly all about food, which is understandable. He, yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. No, food, we talked a lot about food, especially about what sort of food we're going to get we got back, you know. <laughs> 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 yeah, <laughs> but then the, the whole approach all the way along is you know, always trying to get extra, extra food. And uh, the interesting thing is that in yeah, our group of four, only in Burma and the two older ones, Roy and Stan, well, they so smoked. It was a rheumatic thing. They didn't smoke a lot, but they smoked. Mm. Bert and I, we didn't smoke, mm. I couldn't see the no, point of smoking at that stage. At school I smoked mm. a bit, just, you know, mm. I was caught at the end, I was caught said, last time I was caught, headmaster said, if you're caught again smoking, you'll be expelled. So the next thing I had was on the day you broke up. But they didn't have much money and I had to, you know, it's just more the... Well, I suppose board it's, you know, borders anyway, you know. He just did that for the yeah. mm. piece. So you, would you mind if I took a quick photo of you? <laughs> That'd be all right. I'll just be very quick and just take a yeah. nice portrait. Right, right there's perfect. Just take a nice portrait. Thank you. Um, anyway. I don't know what this is. You have to tell me what you want to know. No, this I, is. I, I just sort of. I mean, look, really, the, I, I guess from from our point of view, is really just nice to meet you. It's yeah. that. Um, well, we don't mind. You know, a, how often if you want see, to have a mm. see you, you've got a lot of information that I wouldn't mm. have. Is that little picture of Don in here the only well, original? No, it's not in that. that no. I haven't. That's that oh, was what I. That's what, what I prepared to hand out. Oh, yeah. I don't think I showed you that one. Oh. That was from Don's militia training up at oh, Kakapani. Now, the other thing uh. is he, he, he was called up. Yes. And so he went into... The, how it started, of course, was we were um, uh, doing the year. We were travelling in a tram somewhere along Coventry or something, and there was a march on. And they had their tin hats and rifles and fixed bayonets or whatever, maybe. And, well, there is some infantry obviously could march pretty well, and uh, it was quite. Uh, stern. I said to Don, just for a joke, I said, What about joining the army? So he said, Well, don't join up without telling me. And so, uh, you know, I said, well, I, <laughs> He took me seriously. So. <laughs> and that's how it started. And then my mother said, Well, you're not going to, you can't do anything until you're 18. 
and rather Roy in the army, he put his age up to 21, uh, he's a bit older than that. But um, he was bigger, he looked looked old. Mm. But, um, it's, uh, it don't know. It's, uh, Next time he's got that tin hat on. Oh, yes, yeah, that's it. You can see the so that's that pack of onion. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Don was fairly tall, was that right? Uh, oh, uh, yes. Yeah, I was, was, I was, was, I was over, just over six feet. Okay. It's really similar height. I've shrunk since then. Which was yeah, the was one that had the photo that you had of dots over there, isn't it? I don't yeah. think I saw it. No. Well, it's the original of that. Oh, okay. You yeah. don't have the full original of that, of that photo, do you? Oh no, 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 that was the only one. I had that in the book, which I, I had a photo album and I collected anything from it that I could put into this. But I'm not sure how long he was in uh, in that. But it's not long, because right, I've got the letters that he yeah. sent back from there. To he, um, he, he transferred to the AO. He, he can mm. transfer pretty easily. So... Uh, Yes, that's, that's mm. <laughs> um, I've got your disc here as well, as much sort of info with some photos on it, like that photo. Yeah. And, and I've also put that book, you know, the book I was telling you about that talks about the, the camp, the, oh, the, the yeah. trial of the guards. So if you want to read it, it's in, a, oh, yeah. a, it's in an Adobe PDF yeah. form. So. Oh, my son will help me to sort of work out. So that's did, did you going to leave? I'm going to leave that. That's oh. yours. It's so unfortunately not the most pleasant re reading uh, a lot of that. Yeah. So, um, mm. Well, a lot of books have been written, and I got a few. Well, David uh, doesn't seem to. He doesn't tell us many mm. gloomy, gloomy stories mm -hmm. about. Books. I, I mean, I, I, I like telling the things. The things that are humorous well, because more like a, lot of, <laughs> a lot of funny things went on, really. So they keep them the kitchen <laughs> or something. Got, we, after he came back, you know, good times are relative. We had some good times, but they wouldn't mind me for good times now. But mm. they're, um, if things were let up and you had a bit of peace and you had a bit of extra food or something, mm. you know, it was just to uh, appreciate this. So much. But Dave, but Dave, Dave tell, tell you about um, yeah. where he had his rifle practice. Just take a photo of that. You want some help with the light or something? No, that's perfect yeah, there. Yeah, no. <coughs> light. You might have a macro lens that's better than mine. You might want to that. I got some recent photos of the um, of his gravesite in Yokohama that a friend of David Wynne Stanley's, um, a Japanese lady, sent. It's a beautiful cemetery, that one. Well, we, we recently saw some photographs of him. Mm. <coughs> <coughs> what would you be like? Oh, it was lovely <laughs> to... Um, we're both keen photographers, if you didn't guess. <laughs> well, you should have any trouble yeah. writing your yeah, genealogy and so on. Thanks. Lots of photographs. Yeah. Yeah. I feel I might have rather could be. Yeah. Uh, well, see, there, there's, there's all those albums there. Yeah. Family photographs. Yeah, numerous. So. Now, are you moving into a new... Uh, village, is that what's happening? Well, we've so been part of it. Oh, no, well, uh, we're on a two year waiting list. Oh, here's, here's another one. So we might be dead in here. Now, I've got a, another copy of this. You, you've got that that red one. The red one's here. Ah. This one? Yeah, I think that's. That, these are. I don't know whether you'd be, you'd be interested in, in that. A, a taking it, taking it home, and having a look, or we have, you can have it. Oh, lovely! lovely. I mean, if, if I don't want it, I'd because a lot of it, it would be double up probably. But oh, um, nice. the the first part, not that there's a lot of it. Um, all this part, 
then we went on as what to call a scheme field exercise around Dali Camp. I don't know. I don't know whether Don was in that one or not. You got a picture of it. We were there for a week. Bike, you, I got, did nothing useful. Yeah, we got that one. <laughs> Yeah, we've got a couple of photo stories in the Jeeps. Where do you think of it? It was so ridiculous. It, it, we, on this scheme we went on, I was in, I was in the back of a, well, you, a chap in a utility, and I don't know what I was supposed to do, but mm. so I got here, did nothing useful. <laughs> you know, and then uh, embarked on the Morella. Ordinary passenger accommodation. I should write that down because I don't, that's, that's oh. strangely enough the one piece of information I don't think I had was the name of the vessel mm. that actually yeah. was in. Very, very little training in a fight with gloves. <laughs> but stopped by the OC. Oh, really? And the major. Mm -hmm. he, he, we, all that. It was pretty, there was mm. nothing much. But we, we had an argument downstairs. And, uh, uh, anyway, did you have a fire? Did you have a fiery temper when you were a young bloke? Oh no, it no. just chap had been annoying. He actually been were, drinking a bit were, much when he. Were, but he uh, was quiet, naughty, quiet. Those <laughs> clergy children. But right. anyway, I'd done a little, a few had a bit of boxing lessons at school, which was quite useful. Anyway, he, uh, I had the advantage on him, and but anyway, the chaps were was great. You know, they formed a circle around. We had gloves on, mm. and the, the major up there called the corporal and he said to stop them and discussing exhibition. I said, I said to the corporal, and, well, we could, I, I couldn't do any better. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I know seeing photographs of the of Air Force folk, they had regular boxing matches. Did they? You know, it was so stupid. We, did, we, did, we didn't do anything on that ship except get into trouble. Sure leave, sure leave. Sick of going ashore because we had no money and and then, uh, then we got arrived Darwin, some leave, hot, bored. <laughs> mm. And the Morella converted to a troop ship. And more troops embarked, second, fourth machine gunners. And they, they would have been up there for some time and they were well trained. And anyway, we were supposed to learn something about a machine gun, which. Yeah. And then, anyway, but most of this, until we arrived in Singapore, a little. It's still underlying signal training. Mm. Um, I so you were fairly unprepared then, weren't you? Oh, the, <laughs> to say the least. Yeah, <laughs> I haven't put some of the other things in here. Shot. He told you about that. Oh, see, this is this sort of moved to Singapore Botanical Gardens, attempted to ride a damaged BSA motorcycle, <laughs> but got lost. And it wouldn't go into all the gears, you mm. understand? Abandoned it to get a lift in a SIG truck and eventually taken right to the right mm. location. Yeah, that was in the Botanical Gardens. Mm. We formed a third line of defence in inverted commas. What we would have done if we'd seen mm. a Japanese, I don't when, know. When did you sort of realise that things were turning nasty in Singapore, that all of a sudden it's it's uh, holiday time is over and we've really... Well, we didn't have any holiday time. We only, uh, we only four days up on the mainland mm. and just sort of... So we were looking at a bit of equipment and, and very, very little. But Don was, because he's Morse code, he was seemed to be posted. I don't know all the details of that, but he was more in the active part of it because he said he thought this chap was killed by him nearby. And, and he, um, so he was more, more active, but we didn't do anything. And then we went back to, um, on the, anyway, anyway, if you look. Um, to Singapore and uh, the Book of Tima, which is sort mm. of the centre of the place, yeah. which is all, all in there. And, yeah. and we roam, roamed around the case. I think we had to do a little digging latrines, but they did nothing else with us. Mm -hmm. And um, when, once we, they wanted a patrol, the Japanese had broken through and they were, we volunteers to go out on the patrol and we had to sort of try and intercept them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anyway, I volunteered. I thought, you know, here we are, might yeah. do or die. And uh, then we uh, went out and roamed around, and you could hear the snipers shooting away, but you couldn't see any Japanese, and fortunately. But, uh, so, when you your own expedition when you didn't practice? 
No, that well, we had to, we had to fire 12, 28 rounds in the Van Gilla. And then on the ship, we had this rifle and I was down in the cabin, fortunately by myself. And, mm. and I was always taught my youth up, you know, you pointed a rifle up, mm. fortunately. And anyway, I, I, you're so used to without a, any round, we'd been given five rounds mm. each and they had some in the thing and I, I just put one in, I pulled the trigger by, you know, habit because mm. you usually didn't leave it cocked. And of course there's a round of bang and <laughs> <laughs> and we were in a D deck and there's a tapestry <laughs> wall. These, and fortunately you couldn't see where the where the bullet went. As some of the when it was being redone they tried. <laughs> anyway, I I I took a gun I went outside and and the chap said that one said, he said, well, you all right? He said, you look a bit pale. So <laughs> <laughs> and I said, did you hear anything? And they said, I wanted to, I think they heard some sort of like sound like a shot, but fortunately the uh, cabin had muff muffled it. And mm. Anyway, that was... Must have been very loud inside the cabin. Yeah, yeah. but there's another chap who was on parade and he was, he did the same thing, he he let off around on, on, the, on the, my mistake. But the other silly thing we did in Singapore was when we were roaming around some of this and one chap was dying to, you know, was shot and he thought he'd shoot, see what a, a rubber tree is, he was shot at and a bullet went right through it, it didn't pretty soft wind. So I thought, well, I'd be interested to know what happened to my tin hat, would, would a bullet glance off it? See, I knew mm. if straight at it, it was a bit much, but why are you wearing a tin hat, why are you wearing one? See, mm. so. And so I, I shot it, it was up just on the side, you know, on the edge, and it went in, and took a nice neat little hole and a great gash coming out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I couldn't wear it like that, <laughs> so I buried it. <laughs> anyway, I went back and then I said, to report to the officer, I said, I've lost my tin hat. <laughs> he said, lost your tin hat? How, lost your, how could you do this? <laughs> anyway, there was a... <coughs> A story, a key story, a bit of mm. these things, and they found there's one, a pommy one in there, didn't, and the, the inside had come apart, mm. so it wasn't, um, it was separate. Anyway, I scrambled around and got a little nut and bolt, because the signals had been there, and the, so I screwed that up, and I wore that for the rest of the time. Mm. But, um, I mean, it was, you know, well, it showed what tin hats were like. Mm. <laughs> Useless. But with shrapnel, of course, yes. and, <coughs> and we were, there were a few bombs going on. We had a trench in the botanical gardens, and when the big shelling or bombing, we'd get in that. And mm. One of those bit of shrapnel hit the a bit of a bush above us and dropped down in the tents, but that was the closest we got to yeah. that. But it was uh, Japanese, we, our Air Force had gone. Mm. The Japanese would fly around, you could see a plane driving yeah. around and dropping a bomb. Anyway, we initially, early in the piece, we were in there. And there was a house up on the hill, and it was been deserted. And of course, we were running around and seeing what you could do or pick up. And and one time, it was the, uh, all the electricity was on, and there's was a bath, and I I had a hot bath, and uh, sitting in the bath, and there's air aid warning. <laughs> <laughs> so I, all I could do was stay in the bath. You know, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> After that, they turned the, the water, the Japanese turned the water off the mainland mm -hmm. and they turned the electricity off and the house was really, uh, the, it was used as a toilet, it was pretty filthy the last I saw of it, but I remember sitting in the bath with an air raid on. So mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a chap mm -hmm. outside, he had, a, he had a machine gun and he was trying to have a pot shot at the planes, very hard to an aircraft, mm -hmm. the machine gun, you can even the rifle, you can just try it lucky, but mm. it's pretty hard. But mm. uh, there were a few bombs dropped around. But I uh, see Don was he was in more when the active server so he'd been doing some signalling, mm. real signalling mm. at uh, that stage. Mm. But it was all a bit of a shambles, really. If you'd known what you were in for later on, you probably would have all said, "Let's just fight it out until the last man." Oh, no, I think, um, well, you didn't know anyway. No, I'm just, I'm just saying the, that if you knew that you were in for prisoner it of war camp, it, it would have been. It was the officers, mm. and they weren't on the, the railway and, uh, <laughs> in Japan. 
Mm. The officers were treated, um, they had a bit much better go than mm. the men. Mm. The Japanese, the, uh, they uh, were, were, it was fortunate because most of the time we were, um, uh, till we got Japan, I suppose, but even there, we were on our own office. We were a disciplined group, mm. which was made all the difference to um, hygiene and things like that. Whatever you read into the, a doctor's war, mm. Raleigh Richard, mm. he was mm. up in Burma. Mm. It's, a, it's an excellent book. Mm. We had a copy where we gave it to one of the family, but mm. it's, um, it's, it's a very good one because and he describes all the early part of the line. That's why I uh, particularly decided. It actually funded him on sick parade mm. one time when we were in the, to Burma. And I did, I had quite a problem with pain. And he called me a malingerer, so that was mm. why. I didn't have much opinion on it. But, <laughs> but I, I changed after Eddie's book. He did mm. a terrific job. Mm. And he, he was...